So I want to talk about how busy we all are, but first I want to introduce you to Moose because apparently Moose would like to join us for today's video. So this is Moose. Moose, this is everybody. So my question of the day is this, when did it become a bad, oh, and he gets upset if I stop petting him. Okay. When did it become a badge of honor for us all to be so busy? Right, you ask anybody these days, how are you? And what's the answer you get nine out of 10 times? I'm so busy. We have filled our lives to the breaking point. But here's the thing, time is kind of finite. And I had that realization one day sitting in a conference room when I was like 23 years old. So I was a first year law student working at a uh, law, not a law student, a law associate, working at a big New York City law firm. And I was a commercial litigator, meaning I worked on lawsuits between big companies, and often those involved financial disputes. So the partners of the firm thought that it would be helpful to get all of the first-year associates a little bit better educated about how to read financial statements. So they had us come in on a beautiful Saturday in June. Okay, mistake number one, right? But it was a beautiful Saturday, and the 20 some odd of us first-year associates piled into a conference room and in front of us, we were sitting in a horseshoe shape, and in front of us were two accountants who spent the morning talking to us about balance sheets and P&Ls and those kinds of things, basic accounting principles. We broke for lunch, and I went out for a sandwich with a friend, and then I don't know why I remember this so well, but I went to The Gap, and I bought a perfect white t-shirt. We're always in quest of the perfect white t-shirt, right? We went back into the conference room, sat back down, and these two gentlemen started talking again. And over the top of their heads, hanging on the wall, was this giant clock. And I watched 15 seconds tick by. And I realized that my life was 15 seconds shorter. Now, I don't know how much time I have, but I know that time is finite. And I stood up and I packed up my things and my friend who was sitting next to me hissed at me and she said, where are you going? And I said, I'm leaving. And she said, you can't leave. And I said, yeah, I can. And I walked out. Moral of the story is they didn't fire me. I did learn basic accounting and I did just fine. But the point is that has stayed with me my whole life. We have some limited amount of time on this earth and it's imperative that we make the most of it and we do the things that are most important. Now here's the paradox. So many of us run around saying, I am too busy to take care of myself. I hear it all the time. I'm too busy to walk. I'm too busy to spend time with my friends. But there is research, and I don't mean a little research, I mean there is so much research that tells us without question that taking better care of yourself will literally make your life longer. There's one research study that shows that a regular walking practice can add up to seven years to your life. And the research is just as compelling that those people who have deeper interpersonal relationships and connections live longer than those people who don't. So taking that time to take a walk, taking that time to spend time with your friends and your loved ones can actually add time to your life, make your life longer, give you more of those moments. So that's the paradox, you guys, taking time away from the busyness to take care of yourself might actually give you more time. So let's stop being so busy and let's start investing in the things that not only make us happier, but have the potential to help us live longer.